Okay, the new graph that we're drawing is a divided bar graph. Now, just to give you a sneak peek, it's going to be one big bar like that that we're going to be dividing up. But before we draw the bar, we need to work out how big each little piece is going to be inside for each one of our chocolates. Now, it's very important that we have our total. So there's 22 people, remember, that we surveyed for the chocolate bars? So out of 22 people, we're going to work out how long... This is in the theory booklet. Guys... We need to work out what fraction of each chocolate bar that we have. So starting with Crunchy, five out of 22 people liked Crunchies, okay? Now, when you are designing, when you are doing this yourself, there's no set rule that says how long you're going to make this bar down here. But in all the answer booklets, they've used a 12 centimeter bar because it does fit very nicely on the page. So we're going to use a 12 centimeter bar as well. What you need to do, you make this fraction and then you times it by 12 because that will tell you how much of the 12 centimeter bar you need. All right, so then you get your calculator and you type in five over 22 times by 12 and your calculator will most likely give you a fraction. So you know you'll need to press your format button and change that into a decimal. So when we're doing this with our ruler, we can do millimeters, which is one decimal place. Anything after that is gonna be a bit too high for us to measure. So we're going to round everything to one decimal place. So that would be 2.7 centimeters. Okay, now we're going to do the next one. The next one was Turkish Delight. Okay, make a fraction for the people that like Turkish Delight. Six out of 22 people like Turkish Delight. And we're going to times that by 12. Because we're going to do a 12 centimeter bar. Okay, so that number on the end is always the length of the bar that you're going to do. And to make your answers the same as the one in the answer booklets, we're going to use the answer, the number 12. Enough talking, please, year seven. We're not up to that part yet, but no, it doesn't. Okay, in your calculator, six over 22 times by 12, make sure it's a decimal. To one decimal place, that would be 3.3. Okay, enough voice. No. On to the next one. We now want the cherry ripe. So cherry ripe, the fraction of people that liked cherry ripe was four out of 22, and we times it by the length of the bar, which is going to be 12. Okay, so as a decimal, that will be 2.2 .2 if we're doing one decimal place. And lastly, picnic is 7 out of 22 times by 12. Which is 3.8. Now, to make sure that your numbers make sense. Let's add together these four numbers and make sure that they add up to 12. Because if they don't, if there's a significant difference, it means it's not gonna work out properly when you try to draw it. So 2.7 plus 3.3 plus 2.2 plus 3.8 equals exactly 12, so it's perfect. Okay, 
So, now comes the drawing of the divided bar. Um, it's, you don't have to, but yes, you can put them on there. Okay, so with your ruler, I want you to draw a 12 centimetre bar. Okay, now that's the length horizontally. The height of it vertically is not important. Um, don't make it too small though, you don't want it too squishy, but we need 12 centimetres horizontally. And write on there, 12 centimetres. Also make sure that you write on there the title, because every graph needs to have a title. Give you a second to draw that nice and accurately, because again, if this is on your test, I get my ruler out and it's a pain, because I have to rule, measure every single person's graph to make sure your spaces are the right length. No, the heights, I probably do at least maybe three centimetres about that. Don't make it too small, but that's heights not important. Okay. Are we all good with drawing our bar? Yeah. All right. So now to do the individual sections. The crunchy needs to be 2.7 centimetres. So line your ruler up and measure 2.7, which for me is going to be there. It's a bit hard to see with my ruler, right there. Okay? So I'm going to move my ruler vertically and join that up. Make sure it's perpendicular to the base, so you want a nice, neat right angle. And join that up. This is the people who liked crunchies. And if you want to, you can also put the 2.7 centimetres down there because it confirms that you've hopefully measured that properly. Then move your ruler along. So you've got your ruler here. You're going to slide it along so that your zero is starting here. And you're going to measure your next one, which is the Turkish Delight, 3.3. Okay, so 3.3 .3 for me is there. What if we want a centimetre off? Then you, that's a centimetre or a millimetre? Millimetre I can live with, a centimetre, no. Too big. One, I would say you're safe. Two is getting, more than two, two and more is getting risky. It's the last one I have, or bring your own. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next part, cherry ripe. So you're sliding your ruler along again, so that's starting at the end of the Turkish Delight section, and you're now measuring 2.2. Put a mark and then rule a nice perpendicular line at that mark. You want to check that your last section for picnic should be perfectly, hopefully perfectly, 3.8. Well, mine might be a millimetre out, but it's pretty close. Yep, so I'm going to write those in. We're going to put cherry ripe in here. So 2.2 centimetres for that one and 3.8 centimetres. Even if yours measured 3.7, take that on the side. You put in what it's meant to be, even if it is maybe a millimetre out. Oh, no, you don't need to point Two, three, okay. Yeah, looks good. All right. Did we manage to draw a successful divided bar graph? Yes. All right. Let's try it again. Next page is our Smarties. So this was my results. Remember for the Skittles that we used. We're all going to draw my results. So fill those in in your table, please. 
And like before, I need to know the total. 14. Okay, so before we draw the graph, we're going to do the calculations. I'm going to start with yellow. Yellow, 2 out of 14 Skittles were yellow. You always start with that fraction and you times it by the length of your bar, which we're going to always make 12. So we go 2 over 14 times 12. Make sure it's a decimal. Will be, has anyone done it? Type it in. 1.7, yes. That's centimetres. Go on to orange. Orange, there were three, three out of 14 were orange. Times that by 12. Type it in your calculator. No, you don't have to. To 2.6, remember one decimal place. Round to one decimal place. Next one, red. There is two out of 14 times by 12. 1.7 again, because it's the same as the other one. Green is five out of 14 times by 12. which is 4.3 and purple this is an easy one because we've already done 2 out of 14 times 12 twice already so that's another 1.7 okay so these are all in centimeters you don't put the centimeter on it that's okay the main thing is that i can see your calculation in there and then you will draw up your divided bar so like last time 12 centimetres long. Please try and make it a perfectly right-angled rectangle. Okay, you don't want to have these lines sloping in or out because then it's not accurate. It needs to be perfectly little right angles, 12 across the top, which means it should be 12 across the bottom and the top, and nine straight sides on either end. Make sure it has a title. Okay, and now we will start measuring our spaces. So yellow was 1.7. Orange. So this was yellow, which should be 1.7 centimetres long. Orange, which is 2.6 centimetres long. Red is 1.7 again. Then green is 4.3. And hopefully that means my last little space, when I measure it, will be perfectly 1.7. Oh, and I think it is perfect this time. It's wonderful. So make sure you've got the little labels in each one. So red, green, purple and then we have the measurements red is 1.7 centimeters green was 4.3 centimeters and purple was 1.7 i'd like to know there's centimeters somewhere so it should be on if you forget one i'm not going to mark you down but it's on most of them okay